helper T cells has certain subsets and these are Th1, Th2, Th17 and T regulatory cells. Okay. Why is this important? This is important. Simple word you remember. Helper T cells help all other immune cells. But depending on which helper T subset is forming, particular type of immune cells will be helped. Okay. So it's not that that once activated, all T helper subsets will be formed. No. It depends on that which antigen is interacting with the T cell, helper T cells. And further, because of this, the dendritic cell or the antigen presenting cell which is there, it is going to release certain interleukins. It is going to release certain chemicals which are going to act on T cells. These chemicals ultimately change something within the cells which act on genes and this will change the proteins which are being secreted from the T cells, right? So depending on what antigen presenting cells are secreting which is acting on the T cells, T cells will further differentiate into subsets Th1 or Th2 or Th17 and T regulatory cells. T regulatory cells generally are formed. Okay, so what is this Th1 cells? See, whenever the antigen presenting cell takes up a intracellular antigen, intracellular bacteria or viruses or cancer cells right because these cells also will be there right they will be taken up by the antigen presenting cells they are going to affect other cells of the body as well right so virus is there virus is going to infect the cells but it is going to infect the dendritic cells also it is going to infect the macrophages also which are going to break it down and present the antigen so intracellular antigens intracellular bacteria intracellular viruses and cancer cells when they are presented to the t helper cells then they differentiate into th1 cells very important so you will remember that these cells are presented only to cytotoxic t cells if anybody knows about it yes these antigens are presented to cytotoxic t cells but the antigen presenting cells as i told you they have both types of mhc mhc1 also mhc2 also so at one hand they are going to present the antigen with mhc2 to t helper cells and on the other hand with mhc1 they are going to present it to cytotoxic t cells also so to both the cells it is presenting understanding antigen presenting cells can present to both the cells so this was a little divergence because some people may get confused if they already know that uh, what is happening to the cytotoxic T cells. So just a little concept clearance here. So anyways, back to our concept that if antigen presenting cell presents intracellular surviving bacteria, viruses and cancer cells to the helper T cells, then they differentiate into Th1 type subset and this Th1 type subset secretes interleukin 2 and interferon gamma interferon gamma okay very important this interleukin 2 acts and activates the cytotoxic t cells right and this interferon gamma goes and acts on the macrophages itself so as to increase the ability of the macrophage to kill the cells okay so the killing mechanisms of the macrophages are upgraded they become more intensive. So this Th1 subset acts on cytotoxic cells again to kill the cells which are infected and interferon gamma acts on the macrophages itself causes its further activation. Second thing what happens that these IL-2, this IL-2 it also acts again on this T helper cells again acts on this T helper cells and it causes proliferation of this T helper cells. So the clone is expanding here, right? And what will happen that uh, after expansion, it will go and sit in the various places again in the body. So you see, suppose from GIT, the antigen has entered. There it encounters this APCs, which present the antigen to the helper T cell. So these helper T cells proliferate. Now, we don't know that maybe this antigen has already crossed the barrier and it has entered into the circulation or maybe sitting in some other lymph node. 
so that's why these tea helper cells proliferate and go to various places again so activated t cell from one side again goes and recirculates in the body to sit at various places and also to find the antigen where it is okay so that is another thing second thing is suppose the antigen which is presented by the antigen presenting cell it is parasites or it is an allergen then there is formation of th2 cells okay and these th2 cells secrete interleukin 4 interleukin 5 and interleukin 13 interleukin 4 and 5 are responsible for the b cell proliferation and maturation and these are important for the secretion of antibody e from the b cell and interleukin 13 is important for the recruitment of the eosinophils okay so this th2 subset is going to respond in presence of parasites or allergen in the body then th17 cells as the name suggests 17 they secrete interleukin 17 and that is important for the recruitment of the neutrophils and when this th17 subset forms that forms in presence of bacterial and fungal infections bacterial and fungal infections okay fine so you see different t subsets are fighting different kinds of infection and finally we have t regulatory cells these are also known as suppressor t cells so we saw two subtypes of t cells helper t cells and cytotoxic t cells now we are coming to suppressor t cells so that is a subtype of helper t cells only plus Apart from this effector T cells which are formed, there is formation of some memory T cells also. Memory T cells. Okay. And these are the ones we just go and sit in the various lymph nodes for any antigen which is going to attack in the future. So they are like ready cells. If anything attacks, I am there to increase the response immediately. So this is memory T cells. So quick summary, what has happened? Antigen presenting cell presented the antigen to the Naive helper T cells with the presentation it starts secreting interleukin 2. Interleukin 2 acts on the T cells itself, causes its proliferation with the formation of effector T cells and the memory T cells. Then depending on the interleukins which are secreted by the antigen presenting cells, this T helper cells divides into separate subtypes that is either Th1 cells, Th2 cells. T helper 17 cells and T regulatory cells and they are able to excite particular immune cells which will fight particular antigens. So Th1 cells for intracellular bacteria, viruses and cancer cells, Th2 for parasite and allergen, Th17 for bacterial and fungal infections and T regulatory uh, which are the suppressor cells. Plus with interferon gamma there is activation of macrophages itself which increases its activity, its microbicidal action. So that was all about the helper T cells which are going to help the other cells for fighting the infection.